Good morning, everybody. Uh, special Sunday morning uh, edition coming to you live this morning for Support Local LKN. Uh, very happy to have with me this morning uh, at this early hour. We've got uh, Lisa and Nick, the uh, owners of Picnics here in Mooresville. Good morning there, Nick and Lisa. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Uh, you guys have a kind of a pretty unique opportunity going on over there uh, with the over there in the Food Lion Plaza, correct? Right off 115 Mooresville? Right. Yes. Excellent. Push the street from Lowe's. Yep. Yep. And uh, tell us a little bit about what you guys have going on. I know obviously you're doing, you're still running breakfasts and things like that. Um, are you able to still support your whole menu and things like that? And how are you doing that? Are you doing more or less just carry out or curbside? Fill us in a little bit. We're doing all curbside service. They can pull up and we watch for the customers to pull up or they can give us a call when they get here and we come out, call it in and have it ready. We have been able to keep our full menu, but it's been a little tricky with some of the things that um, go bad fast. So those customers that we know that like our chicken salad and tuna salad, I'm like, give me a 30 minute call ahead to make sure we can get that ready for you. Because when that slowed down on the move of that, we really had to cut back on that. Right. But pretty much we've kept the whole menu going. Excellent. Excellent. And I, I think I caught on your, on your website there, or sorry, on your Facebook page, uh, you guys are actually doing family sized breakfast. That's been very popular. We started last Sunday, Easter Sunday. We were trying to think of an idea where the families could get together, maybe just grab it after their sunrise service they did outside in their yard or something. Um, right. So we thought you can drop by here and pick up a family breakfast afterwards. And it was so popular last Sunday, we decided to keep it going. Excellent. It's been very popular. Feeds four to six for $20 for eggs, your meats, bacon, ham, and sausage, home fries, and grits, and pancakes, or French toast. And yeah, then we right. did a lot of add-ons with that, like um, take the half gallon of orange juice, add some sausage biscuits, add biscuits and gravy, different things like that that they could add on to it. Our fruit's very popular. We fresh cut fruit every day. Right. And so that's could be an add on to something where the family can get together at the table and eat together. Excellent. And I know that, go ahead, Nick, go ahead. And even better than that, after it's all done, you just pick it all up and throw it in the trash can. There's yeah, no right. dishes to wash. There's no silverware glasses, it's all, all done. Exactly, because because we we as guys love doing dishes, right? Right. Yes. <laughs> and you know the nice thing about it was too is I saw on your Facebook page you guys had an awful lot of those add-on offerings like you were talking about. So you could start with a base package that would feed four, uh, and then add in. I saw you had like biscuits and gravy, and you had you mentioned your fresh fruit. Um, you know some things that you could really put together. You know quite an offering if you had. You know, obviously everybody's sheltering in place right now and you got a big family. It's a great way to do that without uh, without breaking the bank. Right. That's it. Now, I, I know we were talking a little bit before we went on uh, for this live feed, too. And I think it's really, really important that, you know, we, we were discussing a little bit and this goes for all restaurants um, for people having a little bit of, of added patience in this time, because restaurants are having to adapt to something that they've never had to really do before. And that's basically focusing on a, a full carry out or to go menu. And it's, it's not that they're not running and doing the best that they very much can, but it, it's a totally different platform. Can you tell us a little bit about what that's like? Right, everything changed the day that we, well, a couple of days before everything just really changed whenever you couldn't go out to eat at restaurants. Um, like I said, with the chicken salad and tuna salad, we wanna make it, we know people really love it. But as we were throwing that away, we realized we have to make a lot less and we pretty much have to make it to order. So everything down to where we used to could, um, prep a lot of bacon and home fries and even the vegetables and sliced tomatoes and onions, we used to could prep that and know what we were gonna sell in a day. Now it's kind of everything to order. So if you're getting a tomato on your sandwich, it's getting sliced to order just because to prevent waste. Right. So it's and not that we don't know how to, you know, all the restaurants, we know how to box it up and put it in a bag and take it to go. Just every process got slowed down a lot when we didn't know how much we were going to sell that day or that week. Right. And, and you know, the other piece of that is too, you know, if everybody just has a little bit more patience, just in a little bit more understanding, these guys right. are out there and they're, they're trying to make sure that these offerings are still available. As they said, their whole menu is still available. I think you had mentioned to me earlier as well, uh, you've kept both both members of your staff on uh, a yes at a little bit of a lesser hour, uh, but you were able to keep them on so far. Right, we have two servers, uh, Tiffany and Shelby here. 
they might walk by and say hello to everybody that's been missing their faces. So they've kept their hours, just cut a couple of days. And we have three cooks in the kitchen that have all kept their hours. Just cut their days a little bit. But at the, the first couple of weeks, we were actually able to bring them back a little bit more. We got, we got a surprise. <laughs> now there's, there's your cameo you were talking about, right? You right. Know, <laughs> you know, and, and the wonderful thing about this, you know, obviously people haven't seen this. We just came on live. Is there right now, right between you, we have our resident tech expert because we had a little bit of difficulty making sure we could tie this all in with Facebook. Right. This morning. Um, they're wearing multiple hats over there. So thank them so much for, uh, if you see them today when you place a carry out order, thank you for being here. And, you know, right. they, they have been hustling the whole time we've been trying to queue this up this morning. So, uh, you know, thank you both very much. Uh, in the background, we appreciate you being here and doing what you do as well. So, well, the, um, uh, Shelby, there we go. I'm here as a hot dog man. That's, there you um, go. You got to have the hot dog man, right? Even the technical stuff came along because Tiffany's like, well, you've got to download the Zoom first because she learned that from being a homeschool teacher now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, this used to be a hot dog place. A lot of people know it as Papa's Hot Dogs before we opened. So the hot dog suit's been in the attic. And we've been giving them a hard time, and sometimes we put that on like y'all are going to stand on 150 today on the hot dog costume. Well, I, I'm happy to announce he is now live on Facebook in a right? hot dog outfit. So for right? nothing else, stop by picnics this afternoon, and place your order, and make sure you say hi to the hot dog guy too. Exactly. <laughs> One more time, tell us the best way for people to place orders with you. Give us a call, 704-664-1660. That's the best way to reach us. All right. And for those of you that are familiar with the Mooresville area, they're right across the street from Lowe's uh, Home Improvement in the Food Lion Shopping Center, uh, kind of around the corner where Joe Fish sits down that neck right. of the Perfect. Yep. Uh, yes, sir. Best way I could call it as far as that goes. So uh, I know personally it's, it's a little after eight o'clock this morning. I've had one cup of coffee and I haven't had breakfast yet. We will be there in about 30 minutes. Uh, so we're heading down there to get our breakfast this morning. Uh, Nick and Lisa, thank you so very much and your whole team for coming out and spending a few minutes with us here this morning. We greatly appreciate you being here. We appreciate everybody working together as a community, getting together and trying to promote everybody. And we're just so thankful that we were the ones, some of the ones that could stay open. So many businesses just had Somebody to shut their closed. doors completely. And just us being able to do curb service. Well, we, we thank you so much. We thank you for what you've done. And again, praise everybody. Just have a little bit of extra patience with anywhere that you're placing orders with uh, right. in the food service industry right now. They are hustling. They're trying to make this happen, but they're trying to give you the best possible quality food that they can as well. So uh, just kind of have a little bit more patience and a little more understanding, and these people will knock it out of the park for you every time. So uh, Nick and Lisa, again, thank you so much for what you do. We appreciate you being here and wish you nothing but the very best going forward. Thank you so much. Same for you and Mooresville, too. Absolutely. We'll see you guys very soon. Take care.